Hi, this is just a follow-up to our discussion of false transparency, and I didn't have any examples ready at the time. So I just want to show you two examples. Um, this is a pretty basic example, and you can see I've got the four main shapes here that I chose, each painted with one of the four colors that we're using. So we're using black, but then we're also using the three process primaries the blue, the primary yellow, and the primary magenta. They all overlap one other shape at least one time, and there's at least one instance where three of them overlap. So you can see that the blue overlaps the yellow in this place and in this place, and you see how mixed together there's very little blue in this mixture, and so it makes it appear as if the yellow is up on top. But over here, there's a lot of the blue mixed in. So this is a deeper green it makes. So it appears that the blue is up on top. It's happening over here on the black. And then you can see where the yellow comes in on the black. That's mixed together a little bit. And then over here, we've got the circle, the triangle, and the rectangle all coming together in this little shape. In that little shape, you would mix all three of these colors in to make that effect happen here. So you can see all of this looks like there's transparency happening, but it's all face, fake, it's all false. So this is a basic example. And then I'll show you my example that's a lot more complex. And you can maybe see all of the effects happening a little bit more clearly. So your use of gray and white in this project is totally open-ended. You can use it for compositional effects. So there are no directions about gray and white use, but you can use it however you want.